Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're here to review a mattress for you, which is called the Amina mattress. This is a relatively new entrant into the online mattress space, but it's from a company called US Mattress, who has been selling mattresses online for about 15 years or so. And the Amina mattress has kind of an interesting story to it in terms of a social mission where they are actually um, agreeing to donate one for one, one mattress for every mattress, Amina mattress sold. So that's, we find that quite an interesting social mission. And uh, all in all, we're just excited to show this to you. So let's start this off by talking a little bit about what's actually in this mattress. And we can actually show it to you since we've actually peeled back the cover here for you. And, and you can see that this is a 10 inch polyurethane foam mattress. There's three layers to it. The top layer is what's called Energex foam which I kind of think of as a very fast responding memory foam. Still got just a tiny bit of a delay to it. It's almost uh, instantaneous. Then you got below that two inches of traditional gel memory foam, which has that more conventionally slow response that you are familiar with with memory foam. And below that you have a six inch polyurethane core. Um, and all that is wrapped in a, a poly, uh, polyester stretch-ish kind of a cover. Um, which has a nice sturdy feel to it. So the Amina mattress comes in only one comfort level, which they call a medium, but we would actually characterize as maybe a medium firm on our scale, meaning just to the firmer side of medium. This brings us to an interesting aspect of this mattress, which is that it really presents a dichotomy here between firmness or softness level and cushioning depth. In many mattresses, those two things just go hand in hand. Uh, the softer the mattress, the deeper you sink into it. But that's not always the case, which is why we've always treated those two things as two different variables. While the softness level is just to the firmer side of medium, the cushioning depth is actually deeper than average. And that has a lot to do with the fact that they've taken a two inch layer of memory foam and put it down two inches into the mattress. It's basically together with the top two inches representing four inches of total cushioning. The softness of that memory foam layer allows you to make sure you're accessing that full four inches. Um, and so you're, you're really getting the full sensation of that cushioning depth while the top of the mattress, which is providing kind of that initial feel of firmness, is not so soft. And that's what gives it that sort of just firmer than medium softness level. It just to, it's a difficult thing to explain, but hopefully when we break it out into those two different variables, it helps you understand what you'll be experiencing on this mattress. The other thing we could say is the cushioning depth. So now, when I roll the ball on the bed, you're, you're not necessarily going to get the full picture of the cushioning depth because this is only a 16 pound ball. Um, so it's easier to see if you were just to look at me sitting on the bed, how much it sinks in from the, from the weight of my, um, body sitting on it. There's a big differential, in fact, between me and the bowling ball as I look at it. So now let's get into what types of sleepers would be the best fit for this mattress. And when we do that, we always start with the two things that everybody must get from their mattress, which are back support and pressure relief. And we're going to talk about them together because you're really looking for the right balance between those two things. And those two things can sometimes be at odds with one another. So I'm gonna start on my back because that's the position I predominantly sleep in. And just for context, I'm about six feet tall and not quite 200 pounds. And so you can see here in this position that I'm fairly well supported in this position. However, I do worry that my um, midsection is being allowed to sink a little deeply into the mattress not something that has caused me problems on this mattress. It does give me a little bit of concern. And I do think that for a back sleeper who's heavier than I am, this could start to become an issue. I do, I do feel like back sleepers heavier than I am might worry about getting adequate support given the amount of cushioning depth on this mattress. If I were to switch over to my stomach, just to illustrate that same point, I think in my stomach, in this position, I, f I worry that I'm not getting enough back support. Now, this is not a position that I spend a lot of time in during the night, so I can't speak to any specific back pain that I've uh, experienced from being in this position on this mattress. And I do want to caution you to understand that being in a, a position such as this during the night 
for only an hour or two is not going to be what gives you back pain. It's going to be being in your predominant sleep position, the one you're going to spend the majority of the night in. Um, so uh, this is a position where I just worry that someone of my size or certainly someone larger would definitely uh, or could definitely experience some amount of, uh, of overarching of your back uh, on this mattress because of the cushioning depth. I will uh, bring this to our side because in this position, I think that we now are getting into the position where this mattress really excels. Because when you're on your side, two things are happening. Number one, the, the, because of this cushioning depth, my shoulders are allowed to sink more deeply into the mattress. And that's allowing my spine to have actually really good proper alignment, which is critical. And actually surprisingly hard to find sometimes uh, amongst some of these online mattresses. So even the top of my spine is aligned, where a lot of times I can get my hips aligned, but the top of the spine is still kind of a little upward tilting because my shoulders aren't allowed to sink deeply enough into the mattress. That doesn't seem to be an issue on this mattress. Um, the other thing I'm noticing, and this is very important when you're sleeping on your side, is the pressure relief. In fact, pressure relief is really most important when sleeping on your side because this is the position where you're going to experience pressure points if there are any particularly in your shoulders and your hips. Um, and what I'm noticing here is that the combination of that Energex foam with the memory foam underneath is providing a really great amount of pressure relief. So um, I think a side sleeper is going to be well served on this mattress from a both a back support and a pressure relief standpoint. So let, now let's talk about some of the other criteria that might be important to you when choosing a mattress. Um, and to do that, we're going to just start by illustrating a couple of principles here, a couple of things about this mattress, using this bowling ball for starters. So if I just drop this bowling ball on the bed, one thing you'll notice is that it doesn't really bounce at all. Um, I mean, there's just, just a very tiny bounce. Um, and that has a lot to do with the fact that, number one, it's a foam mattress. Uh, number two, there's a layer of two inches of memory foam in there. And so... That's all together um, explaining that this is a mattress that really has no bounds. I mean, so you're looking at, um, in terms of the spectrum of responsiveness between uh, a lot of memory feel and uh, an inner spring bouncy mattress, this is definitely way over towards that memory feel side of the spectrum. Um, so that's just, again, that's one of those preference related things. There's no better or worse. We let you know that because people tend to have preferences on where they want to be on that spectrum. The other thing you notice when I drop that bowling ball is that the bowling pin here didn't move at all. So that's one of the strengths of both an all foam mattress as well as in particular uh, a mattress that has memory foam in it. So that's one of the things we can also say about this mattress is that the motion isolation properties are excellent. And again, you probably notice the same thing when I, when I jump down on it. The other thing I want to mention is, is the ease of repositioning because when you um, have a memory foam mattress, sometimes that is a concern for people. And I want to just demonstrate it for you, but what I can say here is that in, with this mattress, it definitely does have a little bit of a harder um, ability to reposition due to the memory foam. I mean, I'm clearly able to move around without too much trouble. But for those people who are, you know, maybe prone to find uh, repositioning to be difficult on a memory foam mattress, I think that this could be something that, that uh, you run into some concerns with. Another criteria that you may want to consider is edge support. Um, so we're, we're looking at edge support right now as I sit on the edge of this mattress. And this is a criteria uh, where foam mattresses often fall a little short. And this mattress probably is not much of an exception to that. Uh, there's quite a bit of dip here as I sit on this edge of this mattress. So if that's a position you intend to uh, be in a lot, sitting on the edge of your mattress each day for whatever reason, uh, this might be something you'd consider. Um, but at the same time, you know, that may, uh, it's, it's not necessarily an unstable feeling uh, sitting on the edge like this. Um, but that being said, I also like to test it where I'm laying down on the edge. And again, this is not exactly the most practical test, but it's the one I do for every mattress where I stick my shoulder blade right on the edge of the mattress and I see sort of how 
stable, I feel. And what I can say is that, especially as the memory foam is kind of taking effect <laughs> as my, the heat of my body reaches it, um, I'm definitely finding myself kind of being thrown out of the bed here a little bit very <laughs> in a very slow motion sort of a way. So um, in general, um, edge support, not a particular strength of this mattress, although certainly we've seen worse. Given that this is a memory foam mattress, we just wanted to talk briefly about temperature. Uh, and what we mean by that is that your body may not feel the same temperature on every mattress. Where the heat problems could come from in this mattress principally extend from the, the fact that this is memory foam with a little bit deeper cushioning. And so you're gonna get that conforming uh, feature, which has a lot of great benefits. But one of the drawbacks is that less of your body's surface area is exposed to the air and therefore allowed to dispel heat. The makers of this mattress did include a layer of gel memory foam instead of regular memory foam, which does provide a little bit of benefit. Um, but we still think that in general, uh, there's not a lot of airflow for the hot air or heat to get out of the mattress entirely uh, going down. And when, they're, when your surface area is limited, getting the heat out going up, the two of those things work together to create a possible heat problem. Now, all that being said, we always say that if you're not someone who's prone to sleep, sleeping hot, uh, you probably don't have to worry about this issue in general. Um, but we would say in this case that if you are someone who is prone to sleeping hot, then we think that could be an issue for you on a mattress like this. Another thing that may be important to you as a mattress shopper is natural materials being used in your mattress or maybe just the lack of harmful chemicals. This is not a mattress that is made with natural materials in any way. That being said, the manufacturer has had all of the foams, the polyurethane foams that are used in this mattress, uh, all 10 inches, have been certified to the CertiPure standard, which is a standard that looks for the presence of certain harmful chemicals, um, or at least thought to be possibly harmful chemicals. And it, uh, certifies that they are not present beyond some very minimally acceptable threshold. Um, and it also actually looks for off-gassing of such things as well. So that's certainly a reassurance you can take on that front. Now when you're buying a mattress online, one of the things you're going to be concerned about is return policy because you won't be able to try this mattress before you buy it. Uh, so the Amina return policy is actually on the generous side of their online uh, peer set, which is 120 nights trial with free returns. So meaning if you don't like this mattress for any reason, they'll give you all of your money back. Um, and in fact, in their case, they will actually go one step further and give you also a $100 uh, coupon or a gift certificate in effect to use at US Mattress towards the purchase of another mattress. So all in all, we think that that's actually quite a lot of assurance that you could take in giving this mattress a try. When we think about value, we always start with what does it cost, how, what's in it, and how long do we think it's going to last? Um, well, the Amina mattress will run you $800 in a queen size. And for that, for that, you're getting a 10 inch mattress that does have two inches of memory foam. They don't provide the densities, which we do think are important for estimating the, the longevity of the mattress. Uh, but what we can do is from the weight, we can infer uh, within some rough boundaries what we think the approximate densities are. And our best guess would be that this Energex top layer of two inches is probably about a 2.8 density. Uh, the gel memory foam layer is probably about a 3.5 pound density. And that base layer is probably about a 1.8 pound density. Um, assuming those are correct, the 1.8 pounds is about standard amongst the online comp uh, competitor set for this uh, brand. Um, the top two layers, we certainly see other brands that have higher densities in those top two layers. Um, so overall, I think where we look at the value of this mattress, compared to mattresses that you're likely to find in a local store, we definitely think this is a good value um, and, uh, and a lower price than you're likely to find for something similar to this. Um, in terms of relative to the competitor set, of all the online brands available, I'd say this falls maybe somewhere more in the middle um, of that in terms of just the value alone. The Amina mattress is an $800 mattress that really has a lot of that memory feel. Um, 
We talked about how this is maybe not an ideal mattress for a heavier back sleeper or really all but the lightest stomach sleepers. We talked about how this may not be the right mattress for you if you're someone who has a really high predisposition to sleeping hot or who has real difficulty repositioning at night. But if you're looking for, some, for that memory feel, you really enjoy that, and, uh, and you're someone who is a side sleeper in particular, then we think this could be a great match. This is a mattress that has great motion isolation properties. We found the pressure relieving characteristics to be very good. Um, and we think that at $800, it compares favorably to a lot of what you'd find in a local store uh, for mattresses that are like this. So uh, we definitely think that if you match the criteria that we described in this video, then this is certainly a mattress that you should consider. So we hope you found this video helpful in deciding whether the Amina mattress might be the right one for you. Uh, but if you're not sure, uh, we definitely urge you to go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz, which you can find right up in the header of any page of our website. Because this quiz will actually walk you through the same criteria and considerations that we covered in this video, and ultimately will show you the best matches for you, both in your area as well as online. Um, and we'll show you the, the ones that actually match your personal needs and preferences. And in fact, once you've taken the quiz, you can even navigate to the product pages of other products on GoodBed, including the Amina mattress, and see your personal match score for that product and an explanation of how we got that, how we calculated it. So we think that's a helpful tool that you ought to take advantage of. Um, and that's it. And we thank you for watching, and we really hope you sleep well.